If you've played enough of Fallout 4 to try out some of the stealth-related perks in the agility stat line, you'll know just how ridiculously powerful stealth characters are. There is nothing more deadly in the Commonwealth than landing that perfect sneak attack with all of the multipliers active. Getting a one-hit kill is usually a guarantee when you pull it off, and boy is it satisfying. Here at Fudge Muppet, we pride ourselves on making builds with the best possible role-playing, each character sporting its own unique playstyle so each time you start up a fresh run, it feels like a totally new experience. But on top of that, we make sure that all of our builds are effective and viable in every way possible. Some of our most deadly builds are our stealth builds, and we constantly get questions from you guys asking what build you should play next. Well, if you've been wanting to play a stealth build in Fallout 4, but have found yourself overwhelmed by the amount of choice in the countless videos we've made, this is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to give you five unique stealth characters, each of which has its own take on the stealth mechanics, so hopefully by the end you'll know which build you want to play. So let's kick things off with our first stealth build and this one is particularly close to our hearts as it is our most viewed, most played build to date. So if you haven't heard of this guy yet and haven't had the chance to play him, there's no better time than now. This is the Sharpshooter and aside from being a great stealthy build, he's also the best sniper build you can make in Fallout 4. This guy is specially designed to cash in his uncanny luck and his eagle-eyed perception to get stealthy kills from a mile away. If you want to use stealth but don't want to be sneaking around within melee distance of a bunch of aggressive super Super mutants, this is the guy for you. He also uses the night person perk to remain effective when sleuthing about at night. You really can't go wrong with this fan favourite for the most satisfying sneak attack headshots. Our second stealth build is another suave gent, but unlike the sharpshooter, this guy is an absolute psychopath beneath the surface. I'm talking about the serial killer. This build is all about presenting himself as a moral guy, a friend to everyone he meets, and a real straight up individual. But that couldn't be further from the truth. The serial killer uses stealth to murder his victims without anyone else being any the wiser. The serial killer will also have huge sneak attack benefits, but rather than executing enemies from the other side of the battlefield, only seeing the chaos through the scope, the serial killer, combined with the bloody mess perk, will use the disgustingly jagged and deadly Kremp's tooth blade to slice and dice his innocent targets, savouring the process and getting immense satisfaction from doing it under the unsuspecting noses of everybody nearby. The other people are completely oblivious as to what this stealthy murderer has done until he's already packed up and shipped off to the next town. He'll use similar tactics in real combat, but this stealth build is definitely more designed for those of you who don't want to bother with being a law-abiding citizen. Our next stealth build is far less subtle than the rest, and she's far less stable. This is the tribal, and while she's designed for a stealthy approach, stalking her targets before her fatal strike, she can also hold her own extremely well when the jig is up and she's forced to tear her way through a slew of alarmed enemies. The tribal is designed both in aesthetic and playstyle to embody all of the ferocity and brutality of a deathclaw, only with much lighter footsteps. While stealth builds like the sharpshooter are incredibly squishy to allow for a complete focus on damage, the tribal has a respectable amount of tankiness, so this build is a great pick if you're new to a stealthy playstyle and think there's any possibility that you will be drawing unwanted attention quite often. As she tries to replicate the speed and power of a deathclaw, the blitz perk is one of her staples. This perk also makes sneaking consistent considerably easier, as she doesn't need to sneak right up behind her foes, she can pretty much teleport to them through vats. I'm sure many of you looking for a good stealth build are really after a looting and hoarding playstyle, taking all of the goodies from the commonwealth and making it back to your settlement with no trouble. Well, if that's you, then this is the perfect build. This is the thief, and this guy has the Ocean's Eleven heist vibes down pat. Using a powerful suppressed pistol and a bunch of grenades and mines for the sheer spectacle, the thief will usually get the job done without even having to fire a bullet. But in the event that he does, he can still be counted on. With the Mr. Sandman and Ninja perks, shots with his silenced pistol will will be deadly enough to rival the big guns, but if the situation calls for it and you want to make a statement, you can use your demolition expert perk to blow the bloody doors off instead. We've got one more stealth build for you, and this badass is packing the very best melee weapon in the entire game. This is the Disciple. By the time you've decked out her gear and gotten yourself a fully upgraded Disciple's Cutlass from the Nuka World DLC, you'll be doing insane damage. And that's before you've beefed up your melee damage stats with perks from the strength stat line. Throw multiplier and critical perks like Ninja, Better Crits, Critical Banker, and Four Leaf Clover into the mix, and the Disciple will be absolutely unstoppable. Even if the enemies knew your exact location, this build would be unfair 
there. But with stealth on your side, no foe in the Commonwealth stands a chance. Oh, and did I mention this build has one of the coolest aesthetics in Fallout? You're guaranteed to love a playthrough with this Stone Cold Killer. And there you have it guys, five epic stealth builds to get you started with your next sneak centered playthrough. Subscribe to the channel for all of the best builds on YouTube and give the video a like if you enjoyed these build summaries. We'd love to make plenty more of them so none of you are ever confused about which build to play. So show us your support if you want more. Don't forget that links to all of the mentioned builds plus our social media accounts can be found in the description below. So make sure you check those out. As always, thank you so much for watching guys. My name is Drew and I'll see you next time.